Technology has always been an essential part of the newsroom, but it's changed a lot over the years. Let's count down the top five newsroom tech in history. Historic news technology, there's so much to choose from. Uh, there's the invention of movable type by Bi Sheng in the Northern Song Dynasty around 1040. The first book printed with metallic type in Korea's Goryeo Dynasty in 1234. And then there's that Gutenberg guy in Europe in the 1400s, of course. So here's what I decided to do. I created five examples of historical newsrooms, each one emblematic of the technologies of its day, and then pointing to the technologies about to change it. Here are the top five historical newsrooms. Number five, the town crier. Your newsroom is the streets. You probably stop by a castle or other government office to find out the proclamations you're gonna have to walk through the streets shouting. You might ring a bell, but besides that, your lungs are your broadcast tech and you're fully supported by advertising, being paid in pennies, fennigs, or sometimes fish to include information in your pitch. Salmon fishing season has closed. Please don't pee in the river tomorrow. We're drawing water to brew beer. Barnaby is selling sugar loaves today. For number four, it's 1865. Reporters no longer need to race back to the newsroom. Instead, they can send their stories by telegraph, meaning you can send reporters farther afield to cover more stories. Your stories are handwritten still, but only until they make it to that modern linotype automatic typesetter used with your fast modern printing press. No more do you need to manually set every letter. Instead, you sit at a keyboard and enter a whole line of text at once. The linotype machine then casts that type for you. You're quite proud of it. Until one day, you learn the competition upgraded to a monotype system. <laughs> Those folks are able to print a morning paper overnight. Number three, it's the 1920s. The newsroom clatters with clacking typewriters. Reporters may still send in stories by wire, but sometimes a phone call will do especially if they want to argue with the editor. Something called telefaxes are letting you send your photographers out farther too and get the pictures back along with the story over the phone lines. Of course, those radio folks are looking smug with their ability to tell people the news immediately over the airwaves. <laughs> they can't show you a picture, can they? Number two, we fast forward to the 1970s the 70s. The unified newsroom. Reporters feed stories to radio and TV. TV can go live from the scene and photo type setting is in its prime. You can type in stories, sometimes on a computer front end, which prints out on paper tape. You feed that into the photo type setting device that prints type outlines on the glass sheets for exposure on film negative. Shine light through the glass onto photo sensitive paper and you got your galley. Put that up to create a paste up of the whole page, make your edits, and when it's ready, shoot a film negative of the page, make metal plates from that for offset printing, the metal plates, transfer the image to a rubber roller, which is printing the page onto paper. A modern miracle. Now, supposedly those computers are getting good at doing the galleys on their screens. They call it what you see is what you get, and laser image setters are coming for phototype setting, but You'll believe it when what you see is what you've got. Number one, it's 2005. 2005. Reporters send stories by email, or better yet, just enter it themselves into the content management system using a browser on the World Wide Web. Stories can go up immediately on the news website, as well as heading through PageMaker or Quark Express to be laser printed. The same markup languages developed for galleys have made their way through script and text into HTML and XML. Your reporters can live stream audio and even video and deliver stories through this new thing called podcasts. And that brings us to now. Mobile streaming, virtual reality, chat GPT, and more. But we'll save that for next time. 
If you want more great tech news and info, subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash daily tech news show. You can get the podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. And if you get some value out of what we're doing, support us at patreon.com slash DTNS. I'll see you there. Thank you.